Hey guys, Amber Voigt here. I am so excited to do this Periscope training. I love Periscope. I love everything to do with social media. And I really think Periscope is going to be one of the biggest social media platforms out there. So I created this uh, training to help anyone who follows me, anybody who's in my Periscope Mastermind class on Facebook, just so you're a little bit more confident before you do your first scope. All right, here's just a little, a little note for me. If you're not using Periscope in your network marketing business, you're definitely leaving money on the table. I hope this training gives you just a little bit more confidence before you go out there and do your first Periscope. All right, guys, if you want to get more tips, you can also visit my website, ambervoit.com. Um, you'll also find on there, if you go to ambervoit.com, there's going to be a pop-up box to subscribe to our emails. I don't send, send spam. No spam. <laughs> Only periodic uh, training messages. And also, you are going to get the full Facebook training that goes over a few business tips as well and the slides to this in case you ever want to use them for your own trainings. All right, a little bit about me. Social media absolutely changed my life. I love everything about social media. I love how you can connect with so many people from all over the world, all from the comfort of your home. I think social media has definitely just made network marketing so much more easier, so much I just love it. I just love everything about it. <laughs> um, I've spoken on social media at some of the largest network marketing events. I have my own social media platform uh, where I teach you guys. It's a social media training within a social media. It's a, it's a forum. It's a mastermind. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. So if you want to check that out, again, that's on my website under coaching. But I'm so excited. All right. Now let's just jump right in. Okay, guys, this is what you're going to see right when you first log into Periscope. This is the screen that you're going to see. So I'm going to show you what each little icon means. So right here, that TV screen, kind of cut it off here in my, on my phone, but right down here you'll see this. And this is for Apple. This is for if you have an iPhone. This is all iPhone. Android, it's going to be the same thing, but I believe your bar is up on top and it may be a little bit different but pretty much the exact same thing but again this is for iPhone alright so the little TV this is where any of your recent broadcast anybody that you're following their recent broadcast this is where you can find them all so right here under recent right up here if you have somebody who you're following and they're live they're gonna be they're gonna show right here so you can click on them when you're following somebody and you have the notifications turned on you'll also get a text message right to your phone when that person is live and like a little whistle <laughs> at first when I when I heard it I was at my cabin I'm like is there a bird in here like I had no idea what it was but it is connected with Twitter so that's the little the little bird whistle <laughs> all right here right here this uh this globe this is scopes that are happening around the world right now. So if you want to go look at some periscopes that are happening right this second all around the world, press that and you can go view them. This camera right here, this little icon with the little red thing, this is your camera. So when you're ready to go and do your first periscope, you're going to click there. And this icon is people. This is where you're going to find people. This is where you're going to get to your profile. Um, so this little symbol right here equals people. All right, so when you go into the people section, you're going to see a screen that looks just like this. So it's going to be everybody you're following on Twitter. Um, so you can follow them on Periscope if you want to. You're going to have the featured Periscopers right here. So that's what this, the little hearts. That's what determines if you're going to be featured or not, how many hearts you have. So you want to you collect those hearts. So right up here is the featured Periscopes. You can click, check that out. Um, up at the top, you can see my phone kind of cut it out a little bit, but I got a screenshot here. Pressing this little arrow, you're going to be able to find people. So if you go press that arrow, type in Amber Voigt, you're going to be able to find me. Then you can follow me or whoever you might be, be looking for. This right here, the little person with the circle right on the other side right here, this is your profile. So you click that and you're going to go right to your profile. Computer's a little bit slow. Bear with me. I have way too many trainings stored on this thing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we're on our profile. So, right there. That's how you get to there, remember? Okay, so this is your profile. You can see everyone you're following, everybody that's following you, everybody that you've blocked, how many hearts you have, how many followers you have. You can see all of that right here. To change your photo, you're just going to click the photo icon. 
and then it's going to be able to either take a picture or upload a picture. So you're going to want to have a really nice, close-up, crisp picture of you. You don't want to have anything blurry. You don't want to have anything without like you and your kids. Just like my Facebook training, you're networking with yourself. You want your picture. So a close-up picture is also a very good um, thing to have just because people can see who you are. They can see you right there real quick, you know, really quick, quick and crisp. Um, so have a good picture of yourself. Right here is your, your Twitter name because it is connected with Twitter. How many hearts that you've had. And then your bio. I do recommend that you uh, make your bio custom. You make it stand out. I love using the little icons. Um, it makes your, it just makes your profile stand out. I highly suggest that you do that. And yeah, so that's your profile. All right, so if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to be able to see, again, here's your everybody that you're following, the followers that you have, the people you have blocked, how many broadcasts you've ever done, and your settings. So in your settings, before you do your first Periscope, you're going to want to go in there and you're going to go want to go to Auto Save Broadcasts. So this button right here. Otherwise, it's not saved on your phone, and your periscopes actually expire after 24 hours. So after you make a periscope, nobody will be able to see it after 24 hours. So make sure you save it to your phone. Um, a, a tip for me, you know, save it to your phone, put it on YouTube. That way you have two trainings with, with the time of one. So <laughs> work uh, smarter, not harder, right? All right, let's go to the next slide. All right, your camera, now you have it saved to auto. So then when you're doing your video, it's going to save right to your phone. Now it's time to actually do your first Periscope. So up here, you're going to type in what your Periscope's called. Everybody's going to see this. Um, I like using icons again. I think it makes it stand out. So put what your, you know, what your training's about. And then we're going to talk about, on the next page, we're going to talk about these little buttons. But this is what your broadcast is going to look like. When making this description of your scope, that should say scope, not spoke. <laughs> it's helpful to uh, use icons so you stand out. And here's a quick tip. To switch between front and back cameras, just double tap the, right here, just double tap the, the screen right up at the top, and it's going to switch between um, back and front camera. All right, so this is what these icons mean. This one here of the arrow, that shares your exact location. And when I say exact, I mean exact, like right to the spot you're at. Um, this one here with the lock, that's for private scopes. You can invite people. Let's say you're doing uh, a training with your team. You can invite a few of your team members so only they can see the Periscope. Checking this button here only allows followers to comment. And then checking this box, post your link to Twitter. So I personally don't recommend having your location on just because it does pinpoint exactly where you are. And anybody can, anybody from around, anybody, anywhere, unless it's on private, can see it. So I don't really suggest sharing your location. There's no reason to. So I turned that off on mine. <laughs> uh, private scope, I think that's a really cool feature. Um, don't check this one. I did that and I realized a ton of people view me but they aren't followers of mine, so they weren't able to comment. So I always keep this one open. Always check the Twitter one. For me, I never use Twitter. Twitter's not really my main social media platform. So having this checked and having my Periscopes directly to Twitter, at least it's posting something on my behalf. So I always have that checked. All right, now hearts. Some of you who may have done Periscope before, you're like, what is up with all of these hearts? Hearts equals popularity. <laughs> so give some love if you hear anything you like. If you're ever periscoping with somebody and the person is giving a good tip or a good training, give them some love because that's going to rank them higher up on the leaderboard off Periscope. Remember those featured profiles I showed you? That's how you get on there. So hearts are a good thing. Give some love. To give a heart, you just tap the screen. All right, so... Here's kind of what it looks like when you're actually in a Periscope. Here's people who are commenting. And now if you want to go follow somebody or block somebody who's commenting, all you need to do is you need to click on their comment. So here's my phone. And I just click their comments. And then a screen will pop up, follow, block, um, all of that stuff. So you can just do that. 
to block them. That's easy because sometimes, like, like I said, anyone can get in your periscopes. So sometimes you have some creepers and you need to block them. So <laughs> that's how you do that. All right, so you want to share the Periscope. If you really like what you heard, you want to share it with your team, you want to share it with a friend, you just need to click the little number of people um, who's watching live. So click that number, and it'll allow you to uh, share it. So, And you can also share it to your own Periscope. So that is how you do that. Let's see. A few more pages left. Okay. All right, this is where we stop our YouTube tra training. If you want to get a few Periscope tips for your business, you can jump on over to my website, www.ambervoit.com. Sign up for our emails, and you're going to get a free gift. You're going to get all of these slides so you can use them, and you're also going to get the Periscope for Business. Just a few tips on how to, uh, how to improve your business using Periscope. So I hope this helped. I hope, it, I hope it just made you a little bit more confident when doing your first Periscope, and I will see you guys live. Bye, guys.